Hello, second year. How are you today? Well, today is Wednesday, the 2nd of September. Of course, bye bye, Orgos. Hello, September. We're going to check mistake from the revision, yes, on unit 10. Okay, and then we are going to go to the video watch, yes, pages 136, 127. Okay, don't miss today, yes, at half past uh, seven, yes. The emotional soon. We are going to work a hundred percent with emotional activities. So don't miss it. Yes, okay. 19:30. No te pierdas el soon the emotional soon. Vamos a hacer 100% actividades emocionales. Yes, emotional activities. Yes. So we are going to talk about your feelings, my feelings, but mo the most important, your feelings. Okay. Well. A 19.30 el ID ya está en el classroom, el ID también ya está en el grupo de padres, así que lo tienen todo. Tenés que traer al Zoom, o sea, vos tenés que estar con todo esto preparado, hojas de colores, hojas blancas y fibras de todos los colores. Tenés que tener eso porque si no la actividad no vas a poder hacer la actividad porque... Te pido que tengas eso, ¿ok? 19.30, ponete divina, divino, y es and I wait for you. Uh, to uh, they are yes yes don't miss it emotional soon yes okay well um, we are preparing activities for you okay well uh, shall we go yes all right the first thing you have to do la primera cosa que tenés que hacer es cuando te llegan las correcciones open your file Yes, open your file. Ok, abrir tu file y mirar los mistakes. A lo mejor te va a llegar un poquitito más tarde de lo planeado, porque vamos a, vamos a analizar esto, porque yo voy a estar a la tarde con el Zoom y tengo que avisar todo yo cuando me manda la teacher Nicole. Así que si llego con eso, te lo mando, pero yo voy a estar por la mañana, estoy grabando las clases y por la tarde, ¿qué cosa? Estoy, voy a estar abocada a los Zoom porque van a tener la clase normal. Vos tenés esta, es tu clase normal. Y a la tarde voy a estar haciendo Zoom con eh, Junior A, Junior B, Second Year, Third Year, ¿ok? Con todos los cursos, ¿sí? Voy a estar haciendo ese Emotional Zoom porque no va a ser un Zoom normal, ¿sí? ¿yes? Va a ser un Emotional Zoom, ¿sí? ¿yes? It's different from other Zooms, ¿ok? Is it clear? Right. I hope you like it, of course. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to tell me your feedback, ¿ok? Well, um, let's go there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so in the first part, yes, in the first part, you have vocabulary, daily habits, yes, okay. And you have during, yes, during, okay. Number three, practice, yes, con ese, practice the guitar, yes. Number four, brush your teeth, our teeth. Number five, uh, voy a leer de mi hoja, yo porque por aquí a lo mejor está muy chico. Voy a leer de tu paper, okay. Is it clear? Do you, number five, do you put sugar? Uh, number six, drink a lot of coffee. Exercise two, geography two, geography three, chemistry, and here. Okay, physics, mathematics, literature, ET, and biology. Yes, excess IT, perdón, IT es el ET, el marcianito, yes, okay, IT. Yes, okay. Number three, meet, met. Yes, okay. Uh, two, speak, spoken. Yes, live, regu live, regular, lived, teach, irregular, taught, study, regular, studied, irregular, done, regular, decided, regular, played, uh, irregular, been. Number four, number four. I have never been. Yes, okay. Number three, have spoken. Four, 
She hasn't met. Five. Has played. Six. Haven't done. Vocabulary. Sue dot Fraser at hotmail hotmail dot com dot uk. Three. W W dot Seymour dot O R G slash podcast dash daily. Four. Nick underscore Ferrar at USA Phil dot com. Exercise six. When did you go? Pay attention there in the exercise six because I'm very interested there. Yes. El orden de las frases. Okay. Teníamos que hacer en present perfect or en past. Yes. Okay. Have you ever visited the USA? Yes, I have. Three years ago. Entonces acá te da la pista, la respuesta que es una frase en pasado. Entonces tenemos ahí, where did you go? Okay. Uh, I went with my wife and children. Yes, okay. Um, have you ever? Have you ever? Yes, okay. Uh, who did you go? Perdón. Who did you go with? ¿Con quién fuiste? Porque te da la respuesta en pasado. Entonces vas a preguntar con quién. Who did you go with? Yes, okay. Uh, exercise four. Exercise four. Exercise four, 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 four. Okay. A novel in English? Yes, I have. Te da la respuesta, yes, I have. Entonces te da la pauta que es una frase en present perfect. Have you ever read? Have you ever spoken? Have you ever traveled? Have you ever watched? Yes, okay. Uh, read in este caso. Yes, okay. Uh, y dice, I read Lady Work Horse by Michael blah, blah, blah. What did you read? Enjoy it? Yes, I did. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Super fácil esa parte. Yes. Ok. Y lo que sea eh, de la parte de... Um, the message, the writing, es lo que te vamos a mandar. Ok. Is it clear? Yes, yes, yes. Ok. Good. Vamos a la frase con eh, del cuadrito. I have never climbed a mountain. I have never posted a comment on a website. I have never sailed a boat. I have never ridden a horse ridden con doble D. ¿Por qué? Porque tengo consonante, vocal, duplico la consonante. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good. I have never given blood. I have never seen a solar or lunar eclipse. Eclipse. Eclipse, perdón. I have never learned to play a musical instrument. I have never taken a really good photo. I have never taught a child to ride a bike. I have never met someone famous. Yes, okay. Y la otra parte, hacerla en pasado. Yes, I never created a website. Yes, okay. Bueno, la misma. I never climbed a mountain. I never posted I never sailed, I never rode, I never gave, I never saw, I never learned, I never took, I never taught, I never met. Eh? Tenemos que hacer en present perfect y en la otra parte pasivo. Ok, is clear? Well, let's go to video watch. Video watch. Yes. Ok, well, so, um, the question is, how many, la are you learning a language? Yes, of course, you are learning a language. But apart from English, what other language are you learning? Yes, okay, say at home, yes, yes, I am learning a language. Yes, apart from English, I am learning Chinese, I am learning Japanese, I am learning Italian, I am learning German, I am learning French. Yes, okay. How old did you learn another? Well, it's okay. How old were you when you started learning English? Well, you were six, seven years old, eight years old, okay? And it says, it is, is it important to learn different languages when you are a child? Yes, of course, it is important to learn different languages when you are a child. Because when you are a child, it is easier, yes, for you, yes, to introduce new words, yes, to your language, to your brain, yes, okay? So, whenever uh, you start something, it is better if you are little, 
when you start, yes? Because it would be better for you, for your learning process. Is it clear? Well, now I want you to describe this picture and I want you to see what she's doing, to tell me what she's doing. Well, it says children learning English in a school in Jericho, Palestine. Yes, okay? So they are learning English. I can see the alphabet there in the classroom. The teacher is wearing a kind of uniform, yes, and of course they are there. They have to, women have to cover, yes, cover, not cover, cover their um, heads, yes, okay? Is it clear? Well, so we're going to listen now and you're going to do exercises two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Those ones, okay? Are you ready? There we are. Okay, so what languages are you learning at the moment? Well, well you are learning English and think about another language. Maybe some of you, yes, are learning other languages, yes, okay, like French, like German, yes, other languages, okay? So you have to answer this question. Is it clear? Right? You are going to listen to... Uh, some people talking about learning languages. Is it clear? I'm learning English in England because I need it for my job. And also because I enjoy learning languages. At the moment, I'm learning French. I use it mostly for holidays. But from time to time, I use it for business. I'm from Mumbai. I'm learning to speak English to take my exam. I'm learning English in England because I need it for my job and also because I enjoy learning languages. Okay, so she's uh, learning English in England that, why? Because she needed for her job, yes, okay, for her job, and she enjoys it, yes, she enjoys learning a language, yes, is it clear? Right? At the moment, I'm learning French. I use it. So, uh, the first one was learning English, the first woman, this that is the second one is learning French, yes, and why, yes, okay, why is she learning? At the moment I'm learning French, I use it mostly for holidays, but from time to time I use it for business. Okay, so she, us she uses French for holidays, yes, holidays, and business, yes, okay, I'm from Mumbai. I'm learning to speak English to take my exam because I need it for work. I'm learning Chinese. So, is there one? Yes, okay, for work. Yes, okay. And this is the number four. At the moment, because there are so many businesses in China. I feel that in the future, it will help me with my work. So number four for work, for business. So this is the second question, what do you find difficult about learning a, le a language? So what do you find difficult about learning a language? Yeah? Do you find uh, the grammar difficult? Do you find the listening difficult? The writing difficult? The reading difficult? Yes, so think about it and we're going to discover. Well, it's so many new words to learn and I forget them. So if I listen to the radio in English, it's difficult to understand every word. Okay, so many words. Yes, okay, so that's her main problem. There are many words 
and they are difficult, yes, difficult to uh, remember, yes, so vocabulary is her problem, yes, okay, your problem too is vocabulary, yes, because you don't want to make the post-it, yes, you don't want to make sentences and for remembering words, you need to do that, something to help you. Sometimes I find it hard to remember lots of vocabulary. Vocabulary? Also ends with verbs, particularly the irregular ones. With verbs. English, there are a lot of new words to learn, and sometimes I forget them. And also the pronunciation is sometimes very difficult. Like when I'm watching the news, I don't always know what they are saying. So, verbs, regular verbs, irregular verbs, pronunciation, Yes, okay. Vocabulary. So when you see or hear a new word in the language, how do you memorize it? So let's see. I've got a book and every time I learn a new word, I write it down and I also write the definition so I can go back to it and memorize it. Okay. So, she has a book, yes, she writes the book, the, 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 the words, she writes the definition, yes, and it's a good way uh, to memorize new words, yeah? And how do you do that? How do you memorize vocabulary? With the cuaderno de la A la Z que pidió la teacher Ruth que hagan, ¿sí? Para poner todas las palabras, new words, y escribir una frase. So this is a good way of memorizing vocabulary. I use different techniques. I might think, does it sound like something I know? Does it look like something I know? For example, un plat is a plate. And I think it's like a plate, but without the E. Sometimes I write the meaning of the word. So she tried to think about a word that is similar, yes, in her language. Yes, so she tried to connect words, yes, okay? Or draw a picture of it on a card. And then I carry these cards with me so I can learn them when I'm on the bus on the way to work. Yes. Well, when I hear Make a word, cards. I repeat that word over and over again. He repeats. What advice? What is your advice for someone who wants to learn a new language? Okay, you should uh, complete a vocabulary from the la a la zeta. You should repeat words. You should do grammar. You should write compositions. What is your advice? Well, I think you should have fun, but also you need to work hard. I think you can have fun, but you have to work hard. Yes, and this is real. Yes, okay. If you have a right to this yes to do, add this course yes okay it's because you really yes okay uh, it was difficult for you and you really made your effort yes you need to study every day and practice every day i think my best advice is to make it fun buy the newspaper in the language read the podcast draw stuff above all make it more like a hobby not like you're trying to learn. Every chance I can, I use to speak English. So when I'm in England, I will speak English all the time. But also when I'm at home, I will watch the news and look at the internet in English also. Yes. Look at internet in English, you read the newspaper. Yes, okay. Well, so what you are going to do now are exercises. One is already done because we have already talked. Exercise two, three, and four. Yes, okay. Two, three, and four. Right? It was a very interesting video. I saw the other ones. Yes, okay. Wait a minute. Yes, there we are. Okay. Well, are you ready? So now is the time that you stop the video. Yes, I put big business with double S and it's with only one.
Yes, okay. The S is, the double S is at the end, okay? Well, so let's go to exercise two. Yes, okay. Which language are you learning at the moment? You can pause the video. What do you find difficult about learning a language? When you see or hear a new word in the language, how do you memorize it? What is your advice for someone who wants to learn a new language? Yes, okay, good. And number four, speaker one. One, English. Two, so many new words to learn. It's difficult to understand every word. Yes, three, write words and definitions down. Yes, four, have fun, but work hard, study every day and practice. Speaker two, French. Remembering vocabulary ends of verbs, particularly the irregular ones. Think about whether it looks and sounds like something you already know. Yes, connect words. Something that you already know with something you don't know. Yes, to make it fun, read a newspaper, listen a podcast, do a postcard, cast, make it more like a hobby. Speaker three, English, new words, pronunciation. Yes. Uh, write the meaning of the word, draw a picture, use a very, uh, every chance to speak English because he said he uses every chance when he is in England, he speaks, he watches the news, yes, he uh, reads um, news through internet and the speaker for Chinese repeat new words over and over and over. Is it clear? Well, that was all, yes, uh, I wait for you in the emotional Zoom. See you, bye-bye, see you this afternoon, half past seven, yes, okay, bye-bye.